hey guys welcome to my channel hopefully you guys stay for the entire video at the end of this video i will put the entrance way and the bathroom remodel if you guys haven't seen it already today we're doing the kitchen when i bought my home this is what it looked like neutral colors white cabinet silver handles kind of like the traditional simple kitchen I mean, I love the house. I love the simplicity of the house, but something was missing, you know? So I painted the cabinet green. I changed the handles to this one, and then I did the floors. I did the floors with this luxurious vinyl peel and stick, and I ran out. So I went back to the store. They didn't have it anymore. I looked everywhere, they sold out, and they discontinued the product. And that was the best peeling sticks that I've ever worked with. I was almost 90% done with my floors. I was really sad about that. So I made a very rash decision, which made sense. I mean, I was looking for it for months. So I just ripped out the entire thing. I've never done this before. I'm gonna finish this and show you what it looks like when everything is completely off, okay? And I do have one thing that's been on my mind, okay? I'll show you. As you can see, I tried some different colors. It took me a while for me to figure out which flooring to pick. So I came up with those two. I brought it home, I brought the sample home, and I was like, you know what? Let's go with the brown. Look at this beautiful brown. Yep, this is what my kitchen is looking like. First, we have to vacuum. This is what I'm gonna use to clean the floor. All right, so you just put a little bit of that green stuff inside some water and you go over it with the Swiffer. I'll show you. I'm just kinda put it everywhere and then I'm just gonna scrub it. And if you're thinking about applying primer on the vinyl sheet, you don't have to. Somebody was telling me, why are you doing you know peeling sticks it's not gonna last actually it does last a long time it can last up to 25 years so i cleaned all the gunk and the flooring was so beautiful, it amazed me. Does this flooring match with my new color, my new cabinet color? But only if it didn't have this coloration, I would have kept it. I would have saved myself a whole lot of money. All I have to do now is take up the back and, and stick it on the floor. until it didn't. 
the stickiness wasn't as sticky as the first one that I had. I'm thinking all peeling sticks have similar adhesive. It will stick, it will stick, it will stick. But it did not stick. So I tried glues. I tried the spray on glue. Guys, so this is day two. Some of them were lifting, so I just had to put a whole bunch of stuff. So I put one box over here, uh, two box, <laughs> and then books way over there. So I have a bunch of things on here so I can keep it from lifting. I'm going to keep switching the weight from one plate to another. See how it goes. I'll be done with the floor today. Now, what I'm going to do after is probably... I don't know yet. Still figuring out whether I want to do the the two colors, like this area will be black and this area will be beige. I'm still thinking, still considering. And today I have my painting suit on. This is for my actual painting. Anywho, let's get to this. Guys, I'm almost done. I have this and that. I have to fix some side because to put some glue down because it lifted god led me to this orange bottle this right here this is what's been saving my butt because it's laying this really flat gorilla construction adhesive when i tell you i asked this man at the store will this work and he told me no <laughs> god has a way of showing you the truth I went home with this glue, and when I tell you, it's like putting super glue on your finger and try to take it apart. It does not go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. I put the, the that glue behind my towel, and I tried to lift my towel, and when I tell you, it was like cement. It didn't go anywhere. That's how good that adhesive is. If you ever need something strong to put down, for your floors, use this. So after doing my floors and my kitchen cabinets, I had to repaint my kitchen cabinets because over time, you know, the cabinet colors goes away, you get it dirty. So I cleaned it off. I painted my kitchen cabinets again pewter green. I was like, you know what? There's no reason to change the colors. I'm keeping this natural, soothing green sage. painted the entire kitchen white to match with the rest of the main areas of this house it's already white but it's like an off-white and this is kind of the color that i'm looking for i hope you guys are having a good day and i changed the lighting to more a modern light get rid of these old uh, cabinet handles I didn't realize that the handles that i had before did not match with my new ones all of them comes in a package like that this is so beautiful it looks way better in person like a brushed gold and that's what i wanted brushed gold this is what it would look like oh it's so nice <laughs> It's so nice. It looks really good on the cabinet. Come. Look at the color compared to this one. This was more of a darker gold. This is a brighter gold and it it does the work. It just it's so nice. I painted the cabinet and I filled in the holes because the handle was too big and I didn't want to return it because I really like them. I use a filler and then I paint it over it and you won't be able to see when this go over this. I had to get one of these 
so I don't have Cricut handles and I have a history of doing that. So let's open this. Backsplash. The backsplash is not as hard as it looks. For the backsplash, you need tile. You need the glue that goes behind the top, right? You need the separators, and you also need what is that called? Grit. Growl. 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 Yeah. So that'll be written on the screen somewhere. And really, you just take your time, place the towels where you want it. Um, as you can tell, I did some design up there because it didn't fit the entire towel. The towel is big. So I just did the little design, but wait. <laughs> Understand that my creativity is not limited to a simple backsplash. You know, the backsplash that I actually wanted was mosaic. So I was going to break a few different backsplash and, and put it together in a design that I wanted. This is something that I learned when I was in elementary school. Very simple. and But I wanted to keep it safe. But it would have been so great in this backsplash. Then the appliances came. I gave my stove yesterday. Today we're receiving our new fridge and new stove and the TV. There's three things. I got my stove. My new fridge. I'm so happy because they have a beverage section where I can have my bubble water, my regular water, juices. It's just right in front of me. It's pretty cool. And my stove door closes now. When I used to open my stove, it used to take me down. <laughs> this one, it takes me forward and I really like it. And then I did my mural. to figure out how I want to rearrange like arrange this mural of picture here this was my first time doing it so I didn't really know what to do but just did it I should keep the flowers 
or I should take them down. Yeah, and then I got myself the island a year ago. It works for now. I wanted to use it for cooking, so maybe, you know, cooking videos coming soon. I don't know. But I'm so excited to show you this kitchen. Guys, thank you for watching. Sammy, go Sammy, thank you so much. You're welcome.